What's up? My name is Ashley. The sun's gone down. It's still hot as monkey balls out here, but here I am to give my thoughts on the uh, Walking Dead deleted scene for season five, episode twelve. Forget. I had already recorded my thoughts on this, but I accidentally deleted it. So here I am trying to re-record this shit. My dog is in the room trying to sabotage this damn video. There's dog outside trying to sabotage this video. I don't know if y'all can hear the fucking dog barking and shit, but okay. Now, if you haven't seen, now if you haven't seen the deleted scene, now if you haven't seen the deleted scene, um, Entertainment Weekly made an article. Fucking dog, Entertainment Weekly. Um, put up an article um, about this um, uploading the deleted scene for all to see. So, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to the article in the description. Or if you know, you can just search for it. I guess you can search for it on YouTube. I'm sure someone uploaded that shit already. Now, the way the scene kind of goes, I'm just going to paraphrase the shit out of this because, you know, I ain't got no fucking transcript for it or anything. But pretty much, um, Rick and Michonne are doing like a perimeter. <laughs> Rick and Michelle are pretty much doing like a perimeter check around the fucking um, compound, the area, um, inside the walls, but they're walking and talking in their constable uniforms and everything. Uh, Michonne asks Rick, you know, did you mean it? Did you? Are you okay with, you know, us not having our guns and shit like that? Uh... <sighs> she asks if, you know, you're okay um, about us having, not having the guns. And Rick straight up lies to Michonne's face and was like, yeah, you know, I understand, you know, I wish we had our guns, but I understand because, you know, we're new here. You know, this is their place. We're trying to integrate and, you know, maybe time will, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, he straight up lies to Michonne's face. Where I see this um, scene place, it's before um, the party. It's after Rick Carroll and Daryl um, already devised the plan to steal the guns. So, like I said, he straight up lies to Michonne's face. Lies. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Rick and Michonne fan, but for this um, video, my shipper goggles are off. Um, I'm just, my thoughts on it without, you know, shipping coming into play with anything. Well, you know, Rick lying to Michonne, to me, like I said, it's a big deal, as in, Rick doesn't. He's kind of open with Michonne. And for him to straight up lie to her, I believe that's like a really big deal. I think that's why it's a deleted scene because, you know, like I said, he straight up lied to her face. But that scene, as um, I feel, gives a new perspective to what happens in for the rest of the season. As in, before... You know, Michonne straight up punches him in the face. That probably would have been the last scene we see of these two characters together. Because from the beginning, I mean, you know, without that scene, the beginning of the episode with, you know, um, the last time we see those two characters together is with um, Deanna's telling him about the party. And then next time you see him is episodes later when she punches him in his fucking head. Now, in the deleted scene... While this conversation is happening, Michonne is straight up looking dead at him, like, hard. Like, she's watching him, like, watching his movement and the way... She's not subtle about, his, like, watching him as this conversation is happening. Like, not subtle at all. Rick was like, what the fuck, man? Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> you know, Rick straight up lying to her. Like I said, changes the perspective on certain things. And... Michonne was very watching, she was watching very much in that scene, watching, like I said, Michonne was like staring at him hard, you know, pretty much, I think watching the way he react with her asking the question and him answering back, and I guess to see whether he was lying or like he was full of shit. And makes me wonder, was she, did she believe him? Because she says, you know, it's weird seeing you let go. But at the same time, she's staring at him hard like she doesn't believe it. And 
But I think in the end, she gave him the benefit of the doubt. And not to mention, he switched the conversation, probably unintentionally, without realizing that, you know, he switched the conversation. Cause, but I'll get to that later. I think that scene is kind of important because, like I said, Michonne was stand, you know, watch it. So she, I think she knew, not necessarily something was up, but something wasn't right. And I think if they kept putting scenes with Rick and Michonne together between that time space of then, that I'm um, beginning of that episode till she punched him in the head, I think they probably weren't around each other that much. Because, you know, Rick's being Rick, being weird and shit. And Michonne is over here trying to keep, you know, team family afloat because, you know, Noah went overboard the ship and everything and died. You know, Tara's in a fucking coma. <laughs> Sasha's hanging on for dear life on the rail and shit. About to fly off the fucking rails. Um, as the storm's coming. So, if those two had scenes together, though, Michonne is one of the most observant characters on the team. In the family, she's one, probably the most observant one. She watches people. So, I think if she was around Rick a lot... She is my dog being weird again. <laughs> I think that she was around, um, around Rick a lot, she would have noticed something was wrong. She would have definitely noticed that Rick is off. Something is wrong. And she probably would have questioned him. Not necessarily the same exact questions, but she would have, like, talked to him, you know, but she had other shit going on and trying to work other shit out. But clearly, maybe Rick was probably deliberately avoiding her because he knows Michonne can read him <laughs> really fucking well. Like I said, the scene also brings, you know, a lot of things in perspective for the rest of the um, season between, you know, Rick, um, the characters, Rick, and also Michonne. In that scene in the final episode, um, when he wakes up and Michonne is sitting there mad as fuck, it makes me wonder, and uh, it puts it, you know, before she, you know, seemed like she was mad, for good reason, because, you know, this dude bugging the fuck out in the middle of the street, blood on his face, waving a gun around. But now, it puts it in perspective that she was there the whole night. I'm pretty sure that conversation in this deleted scene between Rick and Michonne ran through her mind over and over again. And it puts a new perspective and a new layer of her her anger. Because she's realizing, like, this dude, like, straight up lied to me. Like, to my face. Like, he straight up lied to me, to my face, about being okay about the guns, you know, he, he lied about pretty much being okay for the most part. Um, especially about the guns. And it turns out this dude stole guns, you know, stole a gun, um, and had one on it when he shouldn't have had one inside the, the safe zone. So that, it gives a new perspective of her anger. Cause she, like I said, he straight up lied to her, which is not something he's really done. And again, like I said, Michonne can read the hell out of Rick. She can, she, she knows, she knows him. Like she's been knowing this dude since like season three. She was like, she was the one who was that pointed out to him, you know, that whole, I see dead people thing, you know, that <laughs> with him and Lori and shit. Like I said, that's part of the reason why I deleted it because Rick and Michonne has a very specific, not specific dynamic, but they have a very interesting dynamic between the two. And I think they took that out. Because Rick, they didn't want to, um, Rick straight up lying to Michonne. That's, to me, like, that's a big deal. You know, he listens to Michonne. He talks to Michonne. Like, he told himself, like, I didn't tell you because I was afraid you talked me out of it. But like I said, it gives a new perspective on, you know, Michonne's anger towards him for him lying, straight up lying to her. And she's a better person than me because, fucking dog. It's, <laughs> she's a better person than me because, you know, at the end, she was like, she straight up was like, I'm still with you. Even though he straight up lied to her face and everything. So I'm kind of glad they took that deleted scene out. Because I would have been like, Michonne, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> this dude, <laughs> he's bugging. You know, and he straight up lied to you and you still like his ride or die. You know, like, but, but again, Michonne's a very understanding person. Now, another perspective that changes to me about that scene like I said, he um, like I said, Michonne was staring at him the whole time in the conversation until he brings up, he says something along the lines that you know, you know, you still have your sword, so in case anything goes down, 
you still have that handy. You know, you can still get that and make a quick decision and use your sword. We still got you with your sword. And when he, as soon as he brings up the sword, it's the it's the time that Michonne, like, she cuts her eyes away from him, finally. Because the most of the conversation, she's staring dead hard at him, and then he brings up the sword, and she doesn't look, at, she turns her head and, like, really quick, and it's like, no, no. Like, you can't tell she doesn't want to have that. She doesn't want to think about that sword. And this is before she puts up the sword, so it adds another layer to her with the sword. And this is, I'm assuming this, uh, this was before the conversation she has with Abraham. Um, that conversation with Abraham gives a new perspective because first, you know, first thing you see is her playing with the plastic sword. So that conversation with, she has with Rick is probably still in the back of her mind because this happens later on that night. And when she's holding that plastic sword, that conversation with Rick about the sword and her having it on hand and, you know, we still got you with the sword, you know, and it, it kind of gives a new layer to that scene she has with Abraham. So, and it was... Um, gives another new layer to her putting the sword up by the end of the episode. To me, it also plays into that final scene of the season with um, Pete coming in with Michonne's sword and killing an innocent. You know, Rick says, you still have your sword with you. So if things go, you know, go down, you know, you, you can get your sword, you know, you got your sword on you, something, you know, you quickly defuse the situation or take care of things quickly with you and your sword. Um, problem is, she didn't have her, the sword was in play in that final scene. It was just in the wrong hands. And I think that plays, a, you know, it definitely played a final play of her having that sword on her. She didn't have the sword on her the time she needed it to make that quick decision, that quick play. Like, Pete could have had, you know, a knife or something else, a different weapon. He probably could have had a totally different weapon if that's if she had her sword on her, which she could have easily defused the situation and killed Pete herself and take and taken him down. Um, for trying to kill Rick, and she could have saved Red's um Red life could have been saved if she had that sword on her. So that's like two um. That, you know, so at that point, you know, two innocent people had died because her sword, her weapon was in, you know, somebody else's hands. So I think that also plays into, you know, her putting the sword back on by the end. Because, like, Rick, she didn't have that sword on her. Like Rick said, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm talking in circles at this point, but, you know, to have that sword on her when shit goes in case shit goes down pretty much but she's but it's kind of fucked up on her behalf because she wants to be more than that sword and like she had that conversation she she feels she felt she doesn't need that sword because she didn't want that sword to define her and yet i think she realized even though she doesn't want the sword to define her that sword is still i guess her in a way, her responsibility. In a sense, she kind of put that responsibility up because she thought she could move past it. I mean, she has moved past it, but I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. But she put the sword up. But anyways, like I said, the conversation with Rick, I believe, plays a different play with her, and that's you know, it it gave it more build up and add extra layers to Michelle's relationship with that sword. And it's also, in a sense, kind of a callback to that conversation her and Rick had in the second episode of the season. I believe it was the second episode of the season when she um she didn't have her sword no more. And she's talking to Rick about, you know, I don't need that sword. You know, he was asking if she missed it. She's like, no, I don't miss that sword. I don't need that sword. But, um, again, I feel like this scene, it could have been kept in because it added a lot of buildup between, uh, not necessarily, um, between... The show, I guess you could say showdown or the confrontation between Michonne and Rick in the final episode. Um, it definitely added um extra layer. Michonne and her relationship with her sword it act added um an extra layer to that. Um, like I could say it could probably got deleted. Um, I won't say for running time because it really it was a lot going on in that episode, but something else could have got cut. I think, but I got I think. Probably the main reason it probably wasn't cut because 
um, the, because of the, um, the dynamic between Rick and Michonne. And Rick straight up lying to Michonne. Because, um, I don't know if I said this early in the video. If, if I did, then whoops. But I think it would have been, before the perspective is like, he didn't technically lie to her. He just didn't tell her. He just didn't include her. So, without this deleted scene, you go based on the fact that he just didn't include her in because, you know, she, he was afraid she was going to, you know, change his mind. And Rick didn't want no sense talk, damn it. That's what the perspective originally is. Um, well, maybe not necessarily that last part, but, well, that's why I fit it. He didn't want no sense talk. But, anyways. But this, like I said, it adds, um, a new level the dynamic uh, it changes i won't say change the dynamic but it adds something with the fact that he lied to her like to her face so i i think that could be the reason why they took that out because they didn't want to i guess in a sense mess it up you know rick lying to like i said rick lying to michonne is a big fucking deal in my opinion so it was like because of that they took that out and gave it with the um, get the perspective of, oh, no, he just didn't include her because whatever. He just didn't include her instead of just straight up lying to um, his face. And I don't know if I said this before, but I like that scene because Michonne asked the question, you know, about the gun situation. And it, like I said, he asked, uh, nobody, I don't think anybody else would have actually asked the question. Carol would have. Daryl may have. But I think it just would have been a whatever conversation. With I don't think he would have just straight out lied. Not like that. I think he, he deliberately lied to Michonne. Because, and, and it's an interesting thing, the fact that it was Michonne that asked that question and it was Michonne that he lied to. Because um, that conversation could have happened with anybody. It could have happened with Glenn. It could have happened with... Carol, it, it kind of happened, with, but he he let he told Carol and Daryl the truth. Like we getting up, I want our fucking guns back. But Michelle, he deliberately lied. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I'm pretty sure I was probably talking in circles. Like I like I said, I rec have recorded all this before, and the part it was probably way more in depth than what I'm giving now. Why I gave it this video because you know I already said anything, and I probably missed something like I said before. Um. But yeah, um, comment down below on your thoughts on the the video. Um, comment down below <laughs> your thoughts on the deleted scene. Um, what do you think about it? You know, why do you think it was deleted? Um, like, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share, <laughs> share all around with glitter puffs. Um, I fucking hate glitter, but. <laughs> What is what is your take on um, Rick deliberately lying to Michonne? What is your take on you know does it change your perspective on certain scenes by seeing that um, deleted scene and the the Rick and Michonne dynamic um, and what happens um, Michonne and the relationship between her and her sword because there's quite a few things that happen in, you know in that deleted scene that like I said it was a build up to you know other stuff and it gave extra layers and extra um, depth in my opinion, to um, what happened to the rest of the season. So, yeah, give your comment down below. And give me, um, give your opinion again. Share, like, subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. Um, there should be a, I will put a link for the um, Entertainment Weekly article down below. And um, that's it. Come back. I will be back to do reaction videos for Fear of the Walking Dead and for Season 6 of The Walking Dead later, um, later on in the fall. So, yeah, um come back for that in time because <laughs> i had the reaction videos for the trailers but i didn't upload it <laughs> i didn't upload them so but yeah come back come see me again <laughs>